Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me. Today is Thursday, October 14th. I'm sorry, it's Friday, October 14th. So let's see what your tarot cards are today. Taurus. Okay, one more shuffle. Does Taurus need to know spirits? Let's see what's going on, Taurus, in your energy. Okay, the very first card you have is the sun. This is Leo energy. This is the yes card. The happiest sun shining healing card in the deck. So this is really great showing up as your very first card, Taurus. And then we have the five of wands. There's some type of a conflict or um, some competition showing up here, but we're going to go back and clarify what this means. We have the Page of Wands. This could be a message coming in. The Devil, Capricorn Energy. And the center card of your reading is the Eight of Swords. Something here that you're worried about and it comes to some type of a conflict showing up. We have the Nine of Swords, going from the Eight of Swords into the Nine of Swords. Huh. We're going to go back and clarify. The Hierophant, this is your energy, Taurus. Ace of Wands. And the Eight of Cups. Why is the sun here, spirits? Okay, we have Justice, Libra Energy. Seven of Swords. And the Five of Cups. There's justice coming into your energy. There may be a legal matter here for someone that's going to be going in your favor because I feel like someone was either lying, cheating, stealing. Someone was being sneaky. This has left sadness here in your energy. But I'm feeling like there's um, a truth that's going to come out here. Someone here was being sneaky, but the truth is going to come out. The sun comes out. It illuminates everything so that you can see clearly, so that you can see through the clouds. There's heartbreak and pain. We have the Ace of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Star Aquarius Energy. So you have the sun, the star, and the Ace of Cups. You may feel like this, some of you do, a lack of money, feeling left out in the cold or ghosted over some type of a conflict, but blessings are coming in with the Ace of Cups and the wish fulfillment with the star. There's something you've been wishing for that's going to show up here for you, Taurus, and I'm not sure what that is yet, but we're going to keep going. I'm seeing a message coming in. What is this message about? Why is the Page of Wands here? The Two of Swords. The Queen of Wands. And the Knight of Wands. Definitely a passionate messenger showing up here. There may be an age difference between you and this person. But this person's coming towards you here very quickly. So I feel like um, like within the month of October or November, you'll be receiving a message from someone. I'm feeling more like October 
if like it's in your energy right now and I feel like this message leaves you in a position here of kind of being closed off not really making a decision about something that someone wants to say an offer someone wants to give to you they come in so quickly it leaves you here in this two of swords energy where you're not expecting it and you're kind of closed off at the time you receive it and then we have the devil why is the devil here okay we have the six of swords there's financial gain and this is something that you're earning oh a lot of people here I feel like I'm seeing more than one person showing up here in your offer I mean in your in your energy here with an offer there's someone here that is true to the heart that where there could be an age difference here and um, I feel like this person comes wants to swoop you off your feet and take you into calmer water they're wanting to go the distance with you they're wanting to go with you on this new journey why is the eight of swords here so you'll have a choice <clears throat> sorry Taurus you'll have a choice between two <coughs> we have the eight of swords strength Leo energy the ten of swords and the three of coins be careful of a deceiving messenger I'm seeing a deceiving messenger here that where there could be a betrayal a third party involved in the energy and I'm I'm seeing um I'm seeing you stuck in your mind about this you could be stuck in your mind about this right now you could already see this this is a general reading so the timeline may be off a little bit here but um there could be a painful ending to something here showing up in your energy when it comes to two because of someone being deceiving why is the nine of swords here we have death this ending I feel like you're going to find out some information when it comes to a connection that you're in with someone with the two of cups showing up um, you could have looked something up um, saw something here you could be dealing with a Scorpio there's something here that's going to leave you in your head though if you're not already in this position someone I'm reading for right now is already in this position there's a lot of worry being stuck in your mind over this ending which is Scorpio energy the death card but something here is coming to an end because of a betrayal someone lying cheating stealing and then we have the Hierophant here. I feel like you just need to switch paths, which can be painful. This could be a marriage. There's a certain path that you thought you were going down, Taurus, and you've reached a crossroads here. Even though we don't have the Two of Wands, I feel it, and it could show up, but I feel like you're in a position here with this two of swords of needing to make a decision as to which way to go why is the hierophant here this could be a marriage oh look at that two of wands just as i spoke the two of wands it's leaving you at a crossroads you wanted to go straight you had a plan in what direction you're going in and now all of a sudden you've hit you've hit a stop in the road where you can't go straight you have to go left or you have to go right but it's difficult because 
Um, you are committed to something here, Taurus. And in your mind, you were committed to going a certain direction that you thought things were going to go in and you've reached a crossroads. And so look at the bigger picture. The hangman is here. This is Pisces energy. The hangman is telling you to look at things in a different perspective, a different point of view, and to look at the big picture do not stay stuck in this uncomfortable position because I'm seeing good news is coming ahead. We have the King of Wands here. This is someone, someone here that is a player they're showing up as a true match to you but they are they're going down a path that you can no longer go on and the lesson here has been learned and so it's time for you to start taking steps down a new path and i'm seeing some type of news or messages showing up here in your energy with the ace of wands that's going to be very exciting very powerful that um makes it easier for you to walk and turn a certain direction here instead of feeling stuck. Why is the Ace of Wands here? The Three of Swords. The Ten of Coins. And the Hermit. Virgo Energy. You could be dealing with... Um, someone here where there was a blended family involved and a third party stepped in and caused a lot of pain and heartbreak but um again i see the hermit is going deep within looking for answers um that you can find within yourself because the ten of coins is here with the ace of wands so there's some type of exciting news that's going to show up here and this energy is showing up you could feel alone right now but you're not alone there's um there's family around you and friends but outside of that there's this huge great news coming in and i'm seeing it's very exciting whatever this news is it's not something small it's something huge and it could have something to do with your money your stability a home why is the eight of cups here we have the high priestess the magician and the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune here is turning in your favor and you're you're being um, guided here to walk away from this Eight of Cups. This is not your Ten of Cups. You're meant to see more. You're meant to go on a different path. And this is the turning point in your life. The wheel is turning and it's turning in your favor. And um, the Magician and the High Priestess is very ma magical energy. So you might be into tarot you know you're watching tarot you're into using your intuition you could be a tarot reader but um whatever you're walking towards here you're walking away from something with the eight of cups where you're walking kind of blinded but your intuition is guiding you and you have a plan here with the magician so this is card one. This is manifesting the new down this new direction that you're turning. And you will be running into this wheel of fortune. I'm seeing um, like a huge shift in the energy that's going to raise you up. The path you're in right now is where you're meant to be. You're exactly where you're meant to be right now at this time. Why is to, um, to get to your life purpose? to reach your legacy yeah the emperor 
to be the boss, the one in control. This is success and victory with the Ace of Swords. And the Four of Cups is telling you the advice here is do not miss an opportunity. There's a new opportunity that you need to get yourself out of this energy here of where you are feeling stuck and not making, making a decision. It's time to make the decision and um, follow this wish fulfillment here because you do have a wish fulfillment and there's an opportunity like knocking on your door right here, Taurus. Yeah. I feel like um, it's going to come in the form of a message that changes everything. Why is the tower here? The fool. The Nine of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. This is you putting your energy into you. To, and this is a wish fulfillment. Again, I see right here, I keep seeing a wish, a wish that you have. Um, the Tower and the Fool. So I'm seeing you taking a leap of faith on something here, Taurus. And it could have something to do with your money, your, you know, your home. But... This leap of faith is going to shock you what's on the other side. This is a message, um, a new opportunity that you're just not expecting. When you take this leap of faith, it's going to shock you. It's going to be better than what you realize. Okay, let's get your advice. Advice for Taurus spirits. Okay, we have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. The end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. And a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries, which is that Ace of Wands energy. On the bottom of the deck, you have emotions are running high, super moon. All right, Taurus, so these are your tarot cards for today. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing, your donations and all of your support. And I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.